Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Lords of the Fallen with me, Bregaton. Let's purify the last beacon. I'm guessing there's nothing in Umbral along this path because they don't want to ruin the moment of approaching the beacon. Can't go down first. I'm pretty sure that's the way out. A ton of crafty materials. Cleanse the beacon. That one shouldn't be red. <laughs> but it is verifying yet again that we did them in the wrong order. My cape is a little bugged out. Let's rock this one for a bit. It matches the shield really well. So we fought Judge Cleric. I'm curious because the other two judges haven't really been mentioned in the game so far. So I'm guessing they won't show up as bosses. It'd be cool because I know that they're going to do DLC for the game. I believe two DLC are planned be cool if they introduced them, even if you didn't have to fight them. So we have all that to explore. This looks like a boss arena. That's what we saw up on the cliff. This side is the village. Well, since it's a potential boss fight here, I'm not going to enter Umbro to explore this area yet.
Okay, not a boss fight. This is the second arena like this that we found. Uh, the other one was in Upper Kalrath. A ring once worn by York, leader of Kinrogger. I deal additional frostbite damage. Yeah, that one shouldn't be red, right? Someone's up there undoing all my hard work. Watch this thing, guys. Yeah, I want to chill out for just a second. All right, got the beast axe. That's the second creature, um, umbro scouring thing that we found. The other one was back in Pilgrim's Perch. Oops, wrong thing. Where are you? that a little bit. <laughs> it's just going for a jog. That's odd. I do damage from the front, but it doesn't... Get my health back. See up there, you loser. Like 
that's not what I meant to do. It's okay. Another Saintly Quintessence. I don't think we have enough to upgrade it again. I think we still need two more. see anything else here. Well, if the Red Reaper shows up, I would like to beat him once before we complete the game. So I'll give another shot. We're in pretty good shape now, so I might be able to take him if he shows up. I'll wait around until the eye turns red. Can activate my two aura buffs. Or not. Just the healing one, I think, is fine. Son of a gun. Why wouldn't it? Son of a gun. Jeez. Oh, 
Oh, what the heck? Well, we tried. I didn't have enough time to get my auras up like I wanted to. I think just having the healing aura up is enough. I don't think I need the uh, aura of tenacity at the same time. Let me go back this way real quick. I'm not going to try that fight a second time right now. It was going pretty well, though. Can I open that chest? I don't really feel like fighting you, so I'm just going to go this way. I'll try the um, Red Reaper fight again at a later time. Oh, yeah, sorry, I found Talon last time too. A deadly close quarters weapon of Kinrongren origin. And we got that new set. The Jadale Skull Helm. Helm composed of the skull and hair of a Jadale. Once, several of the more remote tribes of Udurangur traditionally hunted and killed the powerful but peaceful giants named the Jadale. Not out of malice, but in a desire to prove their worth as warriors and mimic the formidable giants. A detail which is no consolation to the Jadale. A grief-bound dress? The long dress now little more than tatters. These pitiable souls of Kinrongur remain trapped in the bitter embrace of their unending grief, unaware that it was the grief of another which led to their fate. It's a medium set. Uh, we'll see what it looks like. Just have to find it. It is and honestly the armor down is pretty cool I don't like the helmet that almost works uh, let's try I don't think any of these are really going to work. Maybe this one? Yeah, we almost look like a Barbarian King with this getup. I'm going to use this for a bit. Oh yeah, I want to go this way. And thankfully, this armor set doesn't have barbed wire all over it. <laughs> Man, the people in Mornstead love them some barbed wire. Alright, I want to double check over here. I'm pretty sure it leads to the same location, but... Actually, I wouldn't mind going to get my Vigor real quick. I wonder if it's going to make me have to kill the Red Reaper to get it back. Well, that's okay, too. Honestly, with this set, uh, we're pretty lightly encumbered. I wonder if I could just use... That and probably a better shield, too, at some point.
Oh, this is Isaac again. Okay, so we can go check out that door again and see if we made any progress in that regard. I wouldn't mind using a different shield. I don't think this one matches the aesthetic of the uh, this armor set. It goes well with any of the barbed wire sets, or really any heavy armor set. They can be. It looks uh, paladin esque. Why can we come all the way up here? Is it just a shortcut back? So we dropped down the first time. Well, I think we'll just go ahead and use a moth to get back. So I'm going to guess we should go back to the Path of Devotion and check that door out first. I'm, I'm willing to bet the first door that we found uh, next to that very first boss fight is the last one to be opened. You guys don't want to come out here, do you? Leave him alone and go deal with these guys. guys want it so bad. Alright, and then... Heal up a bit. That could be wrong, we have to go to the other door first, but since we're already over here. <laughs> oh, what you jerk. 
All the way over there. Just to get my health back, I'm gonna come kill you. Just so we're clear. Well, I guess so he can have that shot too. And that one. That's it. Okay, maybe not. Oh, isn't it in this cage or something? All right, buddy. Let's heal up, then enter Umbral, and check this out. Actually, no, we just enter Umbral, right? Because it heals me up regardless. Hey, hey! That looks like it might be a fight. We'll see. Paladin's burden. All right, let's dance, buddy. Oh, don't like that. And I'm definitely parrying the attacks. I just gotta get out of this storm. Holy crap. As I keep moving, this won't hit me. I can't stop the parry because then I start getting hit by a spell. I don't want that. Harbor <laughs> tinged blade skin. What am I doing? Here we go. So we had the flayed skin from before.
Oh, I don't think I read this either. Uh, the Thorin Chalice. A Hollow Sentinel Chalice. A few of the oldest recorded sources concerning the Judge's uprising against a deer, such as the Book of Justice, erroneously declared Judge Cleric to be a male. A falsehood which gradually faded in time due to her ongoing prominence. Alright, where is this other thing at? Here it is. Armbrough Tinged Flayed Skin. A piece of skin taken from Samuel, a former Dark Crusader executed for dereliction of duty, and brother of Paladin Isaac, now tinged with Umbral. Alright, I stay here and fight these guys, it's time to go. That was a fun little fight though, it felt fairly back and forth. Uh, him casting Orius's judgment was a little annoying, but it changed up the pacing of the fight a bit. Because you can't stop the parry, also get hit by it. It's only parried him what once or twice. The uh, his swings just came out so slow. All right, real quick, we'll go to beginning and check out that other door. Use Umbral Tinged Flayed Skin. Cool. All the pieces are coming together. Oh, the Paladin set. Okay. Well, I got to skip all this because I pre-ordered the game and got the uh, Paladin set from the get-go. The Dark Crusader starting class. But neat. Um, actually, let's get the shields that I have. Let's upgrade this shield one more time. Or better yet, what's a heavy shield that I can use? I can use this one, but it doesn't have the slot that I need. It matches the set really well, though. I'm, I'm going to upgrade it again and see maybe if it gets the right slot on the next um, rune slot. I can find it. Oh, I was on top of it. It does! Ah. Must have said fossum, which isn't a word. Alright, cool. So we get rid of the ones in here, and we put them in here. Wait. No, no, it's a diamond shape. It's the wrong one. I saw the triangle and got excited. It's the diamond that I need. Well, darn. I really like the mana regen. I mean, I guess I don't need it that bad. They have the ring on, right? And this does look cooler. Oh, keep hit the wrong thing. Uh, upgrade equipment. There we go. Maybe I was going to upgrade this other shield. Well. Let's see what I can slot. Or socket, real quick. So, increased stamina regeneration rate, that's pretty handy. 
Uh, increased resistance to stagger effects. Increased resistance to bleed. Uh, I'll go with the stamina regen. Man, I could just increase my health. Let's do that. Wait. Oh, is this a free-for-all? You can put anything you want in it? Yeah, you can see the little points on there, like a diamond would fit in the slot. Well, yeah, let's do mana regen then. Okay. I was thrown off by that. That's awesome. Well, neat. Okay, that's that works out perfectly. I'm very happy with what just happened. Alright, then we'll upgrade... So shields can only get a plus 5, it looks like. We must have this maxed out. Uh, let's go ahead and pop any skulls that I have and max it out, because I'm probably going to carry this to the end of the game regardless. Alright, we just need 7,500 uh, vigor. I would have had enough, I think, had I not died to the Red Reaper. But that's alright. So I think our next stop is the... Upper Cowrath Beacon? Oh wait, you go to Upper Cowrath before you come to here anyway. It's not the Abbey, is it? I will find out. Actually, what I should do is go back to Skyrest first. See if anybody wants to talk. But we'll do that next time. Yeah, this is a very fruitful episode, I think. We found a really cool armor set, a shield that matches. Yeah. I'm happy with that. Alright, I'm going to call it here. Next time, we'll check in with the NPCs, see if they have anything to say. And find out where we have to go next. Which is, assumably, towards that red beacon. Which should not be red now. But either way, for now, thanks for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next one.